Hi, and thanks for joining us for one of Family Marine's videos. My name's Tom, and today we're here to talk about a really fun boat. Um, I don't know if you've heard of a new brand of pontoons called Barletta. Uh, Barletta came out early January of 2018. I saw the prototype down at the Minneapolis Boat Show back in January, and I was pretty impressed with it. So for the last eight or nine months or so, I've been kind of following them and watching where they're going and who they are and what they're all about and the type of construction and materials, design, et cetera. And I've just have become flabbergasted with the quality of these boats. The design is fantastic. The quality is fantastic. Um, now, in one of my earlier videos, I did a, uh, a Barletta uh, chassis construction. And I kind of hope that you get a chance to watch that video because once you see that video, you start to understand the structure, the backbone of these pontoons. They are overbuilt beyond belief. They do so many things that I've never seen anybody in the pontoon industry do in my 41 years of being in this industry. Uh, so I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed by the quality of these boats. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do kind of a run through, show you all about this boat. Um, and we're gonna start in the front. Uh, but this is a model that's called an L23UC. The L stands for the luxury class. Uh, they will have uh, three classes. Right now they have two. They have the luxury class and they have the elite class. And coming out soon will be the V class or the value class. Uh, but those aren't finished yet. And we'll be seeing those probably sometime next spring. Uh, well, this being a, a 23 foot pontoon, uh, the U and the C represent, the, the U is the ultra lounge, and when I get inside the pontoon, we'll show you what the ultra lounge is. And the C represents the captain's chair across from the driver. So the gals have their own captain's chair. That's a very, very popular seating arrangement for us. And again, when we get inside, I'll show you what that's all about. But starting up in the bow of the boat, um, first thing you'll notice is that we ordered this boat in with a black metallic and a gray metallic with what's called a blackout package. So what they're doing is they're taking the normal aluminum rails that you see, everybody has the normal looking aluminum rails, and they're anodizing, not powder coating, but anodizing these rails. Um, anodizing is, uh, 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 in layman's terms, uh, dipping the aluminum in a vat of, of black dyed acid, and it literally etches the aluminum, okay? instead of painting the aluminum like many other manufacturers do. Uh, so it's just a much richer look. And of course, then they have their D-shaped rails, inch and a half versus inch and a quarter is what most other companies have. All right, so you'll also notice that the rub rail is anodized, the splash fin, or excuse me, the skirting is anodized under here, and also the bimini top frame. And uh, this boat comes standard with a uh, electric bimini. So that's kind of nice to have. People really like that. Now, this is a triple tune. The boat comes standard as a twin tube. The option is to upgrade it to a triple tune and then with a ski storage locker. And we'll, again, when we get inside, we'll show you the ski storage locker. But yeah, this is a triple tune. Now, the tubes on these boats are 26 inch diameter. Most industry standard is 25 inch. So these are a little bit bigger than the industry standard. Uh, up on the nose cone, you'll notice a splash fin. Everybody has a splash fin, but what Barletta is doing is they're using a piece of extruded aluminum, much, much stronger than what most companies are using is a piece of sheet metal. So this becomes an extremely strong splash fin. So why is that important? Well, the reason is, is often these things get banged into the dock and they get bent up and they get sharp edges on them. So if we have a stronger piece of aluminum, we're less likely to do damage to the splash fin in lieu of a piece of sheet metal. Um, the sharp edges, if the kids are swimming around the boat, I don't really care to have sharp edges sticking out on my pontoon. All right, this really long full length piece of extruded aluminum is designed as a splash rail. And what that does is as you're hammering across the waves, it diverts the waves back down or the spray back down. That way the water isn't coming back in your face, getting you wet. It also doubles as a tube protector because it actually sticks out 
just a smidge from the outer edge of the, alum of the tube, it also acts uh, as a tube protector. That way, if you get up next to a dock, you're not doing damage to your tube. OK. Um, we have pop-up stainless steel cleats. We have LED docking lights. We have LED navigation lights. Um, we have a port side gate. And I love the, the, the design of the rear fencing on this boat, how it swoops down like that, giving you a really, really clean look. Now, something that's standard on a Barletta are these little cleats for your boat bumpers. So you simply clip your cleat in there, and now you've got your boat bumper at the right height. There's also one on the front of the bontoon. So you can just simply clip this in. Obviously, this is for the rear. The one for the front is a little longer rope. And um, it's easy on, easy off. And then there's storage racks back by the ski tow pylon. I'll show you those when we'll get a look at the transom of the boat. So speaking of that, let's take a look at the transom. OK, here we are at the stern of the boat. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is this super large swim platform back here. Um, this being a 23-foot boat, the length of the boat is measured from the end of the tube to the tip of the bow. Yet, it's a total length of 25 feet when you include this extended swim platform. Um, these extended swim platforms, I'll tell you, we get more and more and more compliments on these about how functional they are. You know, when you're getting the kids ready to go tubing or skiing and you're getting your ropes or your life jackets on or you're putting your playpen cover on or you're filling it up with gas or there's just a multiple number of reasons why this large swim platform is so functional and so usable. Um, they're, they're just fantastic. I remember the first one I ever had where my kids were getting ready to go tubing and they had a whole bunch of kids surrounding me waiting to get in and out of the tube and it's like, you know, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good thing I got all this room back here. You know how kids are, they're so excited, they want to get in, get out, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'll tell you, uh, extended swim platforms are absolutely fabulous. Um, this is a fender holder. You see we've got one of our fenders in here. And what I did was I just tied the rope to this little uh, cleat that goes up in the bow. So it's easy on, easy off for the boat bumpers, and it's stored in a real convenient area that's kind of out of the way, and it's easy to access them. Um, you'll notice the ski tow bar. Ski tow bar is standard on this boat. It's a very nice stainless steel ski tow bar, plenty sturdy. Uh, they did a very nice design on this. Now, over on the port side is a trap door. And this is a cooler storage. Happens to fit a Yeti Hopper 18 soft-sided cooler perfectly. They made it just the perfect size to fit that cooler. So when you want to store your cooler away, it's out of the way, you're not tripping on it, it's easy access, pop your cooler in and out, close your door. They even got a little shock absorber holding the door open here for you. Okay, now the gas fill is centered in the boat and it's up high. So what's nice about that is if you're at dockside using a gas pump at a, at a lake, it's easy to access. If you're at a filling station on a trailer, it's easy to access. If you're using jerry cans, portable five gallon cans to tote down to your boat to fill it, um, it's easy access. You just pop a funnel in here and fill it with your jerry can. Now, this is a 53 gallon fuel tank built in underneath there. So we've got plenty of fuel capacity. And we also have a fuel water separating filter. So any water that may accumulate in your fuel will get separated out via that filter. Now you'll notice on either side of the gas fill, there's a couple of Yeti ready cup holders. Um, I counted the number of cup holders in this boat and I counted 20 cup holders. So for those of you who like to bring refreshments along, we have plenty of cup holders for you. Over on the starboard side is our stainless steel telescopic boarding ladder. Um, I really like this ladder. Now, I, I, I commonly joke that I'm not a fan of stainless steel ladders I like the aluminum ladders because when you bang the aluminum ladder into the dock, you bend the heck out of the ladder and you have to come in and buy a new one, <laughs> right? We get to sell a, a, another part. These stainless steel ladders, I'll tell you, they're so strong, you're going to bend the dock. It's unlikely that you're ever going to damage this ladder. So as I said, it's a telescopic ladder, so it folds out, it slides out like this, it folds down, 
and you'll notice that the hinge pins are way up close to the top of the ladder so it's really easy to grab hold of this ladder when you're in the water and swing it up. Now when they're in the water they slide a lot easier than what they do here when they're dry. So that's how you start. And you'll notice how wide the grab handles are. Much, you know, normally a ladder is about the same width as the, as the, 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 the rungs itself, but here they've widened it out to make it easy to access the pontoon. Okay, now, as I mentioned, this is a triple tune. 26 inch diameter, full length. This is not a sport tube. This is a full length, 26 inch diameter center tube. You'll see on either side of the center tube are what we call dual stage lifting streaks. And of course, what those lifting streaks do is they help get the boat up and on top of the water. We also have lifting streaks on the inside of the outer tubes so we have four lifting streaks on this boat. So of course what they do, as I said, is, is help the boat get lift, get the boat up on top of the water. So that when you're driving across the water and, they, and you go to turn this boat, this boat will turn much like a runabout. It banks up and goes around the corner due to those dual stage lifting streaks. That's why they don't put them on the outside of the outer tubes because they want that one side to drop into the water so that the opposite side lifts up out of the water making it easier and more maneuverable as you go through the corner. Now, the great thing about these dual stage lifting strakes is once you're done with the corner and you straighten the boat back out, the boat is right back up to normal speed in a very short period of time. Now, you'll also notice that there's holes in the lifting strakes. The reason that they put those holes in there is for evasive species, invasive species, excuse me. Um, zebra mussel, for example. So let's say a zebra mussel get up inside there. We could take our hot water pressure washer and stick it in that hole and wash those zebra mussel out of there. So that's a nice feature. Okay, starting up in the bow of the boat, um, you'll see that we have two great big chase lounges up here. Now, this being a 23-footer, obviously these chase lounges aren't as big as what they are in a 25, but golly, we still have plenty of room for two or three adults up here on each side, that is. Um, table, removable, we can pop that table out of there. Pedestal is offset so that even the person sitting on this side of the pontoon can access the table. One of the things I really like about the Barletas is the comfort of their seats. Golly, um, you sit in these things and you just feel yourself sinking right down. They're really, really comfortable. The ergonomics of the seats are absolutely perfect. As I'm sitting here, I got plenty of lumbar support. As I'm laying here, I have plenty of lumbar support. It makes it really comfortable to lounge in this pontoon. The upholstery is a product called Dolce, and it's fabulous. First of all, it's a soft touch vinyl, so it really feels like leather or suede. Um, but the beauty of it is, is that, uh, first of all, it has uh, uh, ultraviolet light protectant built into it, so it's very fade resistant from the sun. It has a product in there to help prevent uh, mold and mildew in the vinyl. We've seen all, all of us have seen those little black spot, spots in the vinyl. That's where mold and mildew get right into the pores of the vinyl. It's very difficult to clean. And this vinyl, speaking of cleaning, is very easy to clean. We find that we just take a bottle of spray soap and shoot it and wipe it off. It's that easy. You've seen the swing down armrest for the chase lounges. Down here we have our subwoofer, and of course there's an amp to drive that. Over here is a door that gives us access to our trash can. And you'll notice how they use a piano hinge here instead of a couple of little hinges. So that when you close that door, it's a very solid close. It's not just like a little piece of plastic on some console that some companies have. Underneath each of the front lounges is a pair of USB jacks. So you got two over here, you have two here, and you have two back in the ultra lounge, and then you have one up on the driver's helm. So you can plug in your cell phone, charge it, whatever the case may be. And then underneath the seats are the um, Hertz stereo speakers. This boat has six stereo speakers. There's also LED lights built in down there. There's vents for the storage compartments. 
Now, one of the nice things I like about the way that the seats work is they're on a what we call a bifold hinge. You notice how that seat folds down out of your way. Now it makes it much easier to access your storage compartment. This way, uh, the, the, with the seat folding down, you're not having to lean on top of the seat. You know, so often seats just hinge open this way and the top of the seat is way up here. To reach down in there is difficult to do. It's also what we call dry storage. You notice the holes in the back there. So if you're out pontooning and you get in a rainstorm and rainwater gets down in here, that rainwater is channeled away from your storage compartment, keeping your gear dry. Now, let's say you did throw a wet life jacket down in there or something. As I mentioned, there's vents down there to give it some air circulation through the storage compartment. Now, of course, there are rotor cast seat bases, which are lifetime warrantied. Speaking of warranties, um, Barletta's come with a 5 plus 5 bow to stern warranty. Wow, that's impressive. So a total of 10 year manufacturer's warranty on all the components on this boat. Wow, that's fabulous. You're very well protected. Now, on the back side of the Port Chase Lounge is a table. You can pop this open. You have two legs. These legs are adjustable. So you slide them down to the position that you want them, lock them in, and now you got a little table to work with. That's pretty nice, isn't it? You can put your hors d'oeuvres on there, 12-volt blender, something like that. So when you're not using it, you just simply fold it up out of the way. As I mentioned, this being a triple tune, it comes with a ski storage locker in the center of the tube. So this opens up. And huge, huge storage. Now, I could crawl down in there. I'm not going to do it. But I could crawl down in there and lay down in there. Because this storage compartment goes way up to about this area right here. Very, very large. Our cover is laying down there. I did not mention that the cover does not have snaps. It has J-clips. So all around the perimeter of the boat on the top rail on the outside of the boat is a slot. And that's where those J-clips clip into, so you don't have to worry about those nasty snaps. We all know how bad those snaps can be. Council is up on an elevated platform, and you'll see that we have a nice rubber mat there, which is non-skid. And many people ask, what is this? Bet you don't know. Well, that's a pet food dish. <laughs> So you can put some food and you can put some water in there. And now you can bring your pets along and they got something to eat. Isn't that quaint? Up here, we have our glove box. Here's our owner's packet. So we got a real nice size glove box there. And here's all of our circuit breakers for our accessories on the helm. Rather than having those buried underneath the dash somewhere and difficult to get to, Barletta puts them out, easy to access if we ever need to service it. Now, here's one of the things I really like. I'm, I'm six foot, and look at the amount of leg room that I have here. So even guys that are six foot or larger still have plenty of leg room under here. That's a really nice feature. Obviously, the seats slide back and forth, swivel, recline, Armrests pop up and down. Very, very comfortable seats. Now, as I mentioned a little bit ago, I was going to tell you what the C in the model stands for, and that stands for the captain's chair on the port side of the pontoon. Um, I can't tell you how many gals have said, I want my own captain's chair. So the C represents that you get this port side captain's chair. If it was just a U, what they would have here is a bench with a rear-facing chase lounge. Some people like that. Now, in the back of the boat, we have what we call our ultra, ultra lounge. Um, first of all, the backrest is in a position where if we're f driving across the lake, we have guests on board, we have a really comfortable place for our guests to sit. Um, we've got a nice backrest. We've got plenty of foot room down here. 
the captain and the co-pilot can converse with their guests. Very nice, comfortable, easy place to sit. Now, let's say that some of the passengers, let's say we're out tubing, kids are tubing, and the gals want to lay here and watch the kids tube. So this is what we call flip-flop. We can have it facing frontwards or backwards. Or we can actually grab hold of it and lift it up and it lays all the way down and now we've got a great big bed. And then of course underneath all those cushions is storage. And what's really neat about this is we have adjustable backrests. Isn't that nice? Now, if you want to face forward, and yet you want to lounge out, you can do that. Now, you've heard these little clicks in here. That click allows the seat to go into different positions. And then to get it down, you simply fold it all the way forward and lay it down. Isn't that nice? This unit has six cup holders. As I mentioned, the whole boat has 20. But this Ultra Lounge has six cup holders built right into it. Now, down here, we have our stereo speakers. We have a grab handle. And to be honest with you, I've been doing this for 41 years. I've never figured out why that grab handle's there. <laughs> but a lot of companies put a grab handle down there. So what we do is we call it a slow down, damn it, handle. <laughs> okay, slow down, damn it. <laughs> Here's our USB jacks, as I mentioned, for the Ultra Lounge our gate. So let's say we have little tykes on board and we don't want them walking to the back portion of the boat while we're underway. We can close our gate. Nice, nice feature. Also has a little block down there to keep the gate open if you should choose to do that. Now, down over on the starboard side is a battery on off switch. So when you're done using the boat, you simply turn this switch off and that kills everything on board the boat, okay? That way you don't drain your battery inadvertently. Now this little thing right here is called a voltage sensitive relay, a VSR. What a VSR does is this boat will come with two batteries, one battery for starting the engine, one battery for what we call the house, which is all the accessories on board the boat, okay? Now, let's say, for example, that you're out on a sandbar one day, and you're sitting there, and you're listening to your stereo, and because we have an amplifier for our stereo, yeah, it can drain the battery rather quickly. Um, but, of course, we have our starting motor battery, which is separate from the house battery, so we're always able to start our engine. So what a VSR does is it senses which of those two batteries needs the voltage from the, regular, from the alternator and sends it to that particular battery without overcharging the battery that's already full. Voltage sensitive relay. Whenever we install a second battery for a customer, we always install a voltage sensitive relay because we know that they want to charge their battery with their big engine. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, this 23 Ultra Lounge comes with a Mercury 250 horsepower V8. Yes, a V8. That's <laughs> a lot of power. Um, it's a 4.6 liter V8, so my gosh, the power out of the hole, the torque out of the hole. You could have a fully loaded boat, nail the throttle, and still pull three, four water skiers out of the hole in a heartbeat. That's how much torque those V8s have. They're just fabulous, fabulous engines. Okay, um, on our helm, the first thing that you'll notice is we have our SIMRAD touchscreen. And the SIMRAD is going to give us a plethora of information. Golly, um, here we see our tack, we see our speedometer, we see a whole bunch of additional information, our digital depth, our speed, um, a digital readout for our speed. Uh, we have vessel controls, we have cruise control, um, smart tow, active trim. Oh, active trim, I gotta tell you about that. This boat has what's called active trim. You do not have to 
manually use your trim and tilt switch on your throttle handle to trim the motor. It does it automatically. Uh, that is so cool. Uh, so what happens is at 1600 RPM and above, the engine will automatically trim to the perfect trim angle depending on the speed and the RPM of the engine. So you don't have to touch it. As you slow down, it automatically lowers the motor. As you speed up, it automatically raises the motor. So active trim. First time I ever tried it, I loved it. It's wonderful to use. This is also a GPS. Now, it's not going to work inside this metal building, so I'm not going to go to that screen, but we do have built-in GPS on here. Um, this is your digital throttle and shift. This does not have mechanical cables that go back to the engine. The shift and throttle are fly-by-wire. So it's really smooth acting. Okay? It also has power steering. When uh, any, any Mercury large engine, um, 200 horse and above, is going to come standard with power steering, at least from Barletta. Um, I, th I think there are some engines available from Mercury without power steering, but Barletta is doing all the models with power steering. So not only does it have hydraulic steering, but it also has the upgrade to the power assist steering. As I mentioned, up here is a USB jack and an eighth inch jack, so you can plug your cell phone in, listen to music via your cell phone. And then when you're not using your cell phone, this is a great storage compartment. Keeps it out of the sun. I can't tell you how many times I've had my cell phone on the dash or my pontoon, and all of a sudden I get a warning from my phone saying, hey, phone's getting too hot. Here, it's out of the sun. It's, that's not going to happen. Wonderful tilt wheel. Awesome looking steering wheel. I love it with the stitching all the way around the inside of the steering wheel. Five position tilt wheel. All of our switches are lighted. This is a dimmer switch for the interior lights. We can increase or decrease the intensity of the lights on the inside of the boat. And we've got a little red light here, of course, tells us when those switches are on. All right. Over here is our Hertz stereo. Hertz is a new company to the United States. I believe they're built in Italy. And uh, they are comparable with a JBL sound system. Very top-notch sound system. Now, I'm not going to crank it up here because you couldn't really understand how good the sound system is via this video anyway. Here we have SmartCraft gauges. So not only do we have a tachometer and a speedometer, but this little screen down here will give us a plethora of information about the engine. Tells us fuel economy, tells us RPM, tells us trim angle, tells us uh, nautical miles per gallon, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Engine temp, uh, oil temp, oil pressure, blah, 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 blah. There's so much information in these smart craft gauges. Sometimes that's nice to know. Now, ahead of the console is a little storage compartment. So this is a good spot, again, for sunglasses, wallets, car keys, things like that, if you're not using the glove box for that. Now, the most important part of the council, over here, right next to the key switch, two cup holders for the captain. <laughs> not saying that the captain's drinking alcoholic beverages. Also down here is the switch for the power bimini. So I can raise or lower the power bimini just by hitting a button. Now if we take the boot off the bimini, the bimini will open up all the way via the power. The power. All right. And there's also a 12 volt power outlet down there. Well, thank you very much for watching our, our little video. I know I can get a little windy here. Uh, what the heck, you know, I'm a salesman. Uh, there's just so many things to talk about on these Barlettas. I just got to keep telling you and telling you and telling you. I like to think that a lot of people that are out there are like me. I like to be well informed when I go make a purchase decision. So that's the reason I try to hit everything I can talk about on these Barlettas. So if you'd like to contact us, um, our phone number is area code 320-222-BOAT. That's 222-2628. You can check us out on the internet at familymarineboats.com. You can see us on YouTube, 
uh, go to YouTube and search for Family Marine Wilmer and you'll see our channel. Um, of course, we're on Facebook. So there's uh, many ways that you can contact us, but stopping in and seeing the actual boat is absolutely the best. Little short story, um, all of us at Family Marine, before we got to actually see a Barletta, um, we looked at pictures, we looked at videos, uh, uh, and it was amazing the minute that we stepped on board a boat. The difference between what we saw and actually seeing the physical boat in person versus what we saw on video or pictures was totally different. I'm here to tell you, you'll be amazed at how attractive these boats are when you see them in person. I can't show you in this video what that means or what that looks like. So again, thank you very much for watching.